So welcome to week six of the term. Um, and for the next two weeks, we are looking at uh, sunflowers. So obviously a great starting point is looking at uh, the great master himself, uh, Van Gogh and his sunflowers. So I've kind of uh, pulled out a few uh, different kind of sunflower paintings that I particularly like. Um, and, and, and what I'd like you to do is just for initially is actually just kind of have a look at some of the uh, the Van Gogh sunflowers and and see and you know have a look at the way that he paints so um often uh you know I'm not suggesting that you copy a a Van Gogh sunflower what what we're doing is kind of looking at his work and um just kind of looking at the way that he paints and the expressiveness is the thing so we are going to be obviously using watercolors, um, but what I'd really like you to explore is your kind of mark making and uh, and perhaps even kind of exploring uh, different media um, through sort of um, throughout this kind of project. So you know we will start off looking at or working with watercolors, um, but then I'll also uh, maybe encourage you to bring in other things such as uh, if you've got brusho inks then uh, I'm going to do a little demo on the brusho inks. Um, if you've got any other types of inks you can also use those as well. Um, you know you can bring in colour pencils um, you know and any any other kind of media that you might like as well. So um, this first week is a little bit of an exploration of Kind of loosening up and uh, and being more expressive with the way that you're uh, painting. So um, I've already emailed you this whole uh, pack of different um, pictures of sunflowers. So you can work from this um, if you are able to find uh, some real sunflowers. Uh, if you're out at the supermarket, then you know it's it's often better to really work from uh, from real life uh, but failing that I've kind of I think I've kind of covered the bases uh, with providing you with enough um, different pictures for you to work from okay so the first one is um, it's just kind of playing around with watercolors really so um, I'm doing this flower here which you will have also got a picture of uh, in your pack so I'm going to start off in a very sort of loose way, so I'm not painting the petals as such, um, but I'm just throwing the watercolour on uh, in sort of quite an expressive kind of way. Might sort of add a little bit of an orangey sort of mix in here as well. So I'm just using uh, my permanent rose, the Windsor yellow, to mix mix up my kind of orangey sort of colours. And I'm just kind of allowing the watercolour really just to move and kind of do whatever it's going to do. And just kind of really expressive at this stage you know I'm not uh, looking to paint individual petals or anything you know I'm just kind of putting that color down you know just flicking watercolour so I've got that kind of pink there in just one spot so I, I'm kind of feeling um, that I'm going to need to put it somewhere else so I'm just 
gonna drop that in also somewhere else as well just to kind of balance that so again I've got the blue it feels like in kind of two places so again you know maybe I can just put a little bit there so I'm creating I'm always thinking of balance I'm always thinking of where I'm putting that color down and where else do I need to put it um, so yeah I'm kind of I'm pretty happy with that um, something very kind of interesting happening over here I might just need to intervene um, a little bit just control that a little bit Okay, all right, so that's, I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, I'm not going to really do anything more. Oops, I just realised I've forgotten this little bit here. Which is actually quite a light looking sort of um, petal. So I'm just looking at this one here um, on there. Okay, so at this stage you can kind of, you know, pick and shape things if you need to. Um, I might just kind of use my dry brush to kind of lift a little bit of kind of colour out from here. Maybe I might see if I can kind of pick some colour out from here. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So it's a nice kind of loose, splashy kind of start. Um, and uh, and then I'll let that dry uh, and then come back to it and see uh, what I need to do next. Okay, so that's now nice and dried. Um, I've got some lovely kind of colours happening. Um, and I really don't want to do too much to it, uh, but obviously just need to kind of bring... The, the kind of flower out so um, I want to still keep it expressive um, uh, but I also want to kind of simplify uh, what I'm seeing here so I'm not going to kind of copy this completely I'm just looking at this as a little kind of reference really so let's um, let's get started So where it's kind of in shadow, I'm kind of taking those colours cool. So if you remember from last week's lesson, you know, a certain area, a certain part of the painting needs to be uh, in those kind of cooler shades. So maybe like this, this kind of area here is, is that it, you know, the cooler bits for me. You know, I'm just playing. So today, and sorry, this week, is literally just about playing with you know how to do uh, flowers how to do roses uh, sorry not roses <laughs> some flowers um, I'm just kind of playing around with it really I mean I'm not aiming to produce a finished painting but what I am kind of doing is just 
um, exploring. Very sort of carefully kind of painting around those leaves. Okay, so I think I'm just going to stop there for a little while and uh, and just kind of let that dry and um, and kind of see what happens with it uh, once it's dry. But like I said, this is this is really kind of an experiment um, for you to kind of play around. Um, and so yeah, let's just kind of take it from there and and kind of see what happens. I'm just kind of suggesting other leaves or flowers etc in the background okay so that's the kind of first one which is a very sort of loose um, uh, kind of approach uh, where I'm kind of putting a kind of very textured background in initially then kind of working on the petals a little bit and then putting in a very very dark background in order to to get that to then sort of pop forward. Okay, so let's do another one. 